Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Joe Eccles Hall. Your final score here tonight, the first half of tonight's double header, to 71-57 win for Norfolk State. The women of Norfolk State now on a six-game winning streak here uh, to, to start this season, and they're 1-0 in conference play, 8-5 overall, as we welcome in the head coach of Norfolk State University, Coach Larry Vickers, 71-57. Uh, uh, you like the you like the end result, but there's some things we need to clean up in the in the middle of the ball game, including the 22 turnovers. Yeah, I felt like we were pressing a little bit um, throughout the first half and the second half. Uh, I thought our main thing was we didn't we didn't do what we normally do, and that's buckle down on defense. Um, we we gave Lucas a lot of good looks, and even though you know she she only had 10 points in the second half, we just got to do a better job defensively. Coach, uh, they normally they average about 53, 57 of those points came on the board tonight. And uh, we held their starters. The starters are the only players that scored tonight. There are no points off the bench. But a couple of things we did that we've normally done in the, in the as the season has gone along, we've done a better job closing out the shooters and also staying in front of our ball handlers. <laughs> um, I mean, that was a loaded question. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was, I just feel like tonight, uh, tonight I felt like we were pressing a little bit. Uh, you know, for us, we talked about 75 is over. We're, we're, we're one and zero. Our win streak is at one game, um, and so I felt like today we were pressing. We were trying to prove to everybody that hey, Norfolk State kind of can, can can live up to the hype. And I just felt like we were pressing. I felt like that's where our 22 turnovers came from. And I think one big thing, if you look at it, they they scored 19 points in the second and third quarter. Defensively, we played better in the fourth quarter. Yeah. They only had eight points. Yeah, I felt like um, in the second, third quarter, like like you said, um, we weren't really closing out. We weren't rotating. We weren't in our gaps. Uh, we weren't making anybody's life difficult. It was kind of like a, all right, well, let me see what you can do kind of defense. But um, I felt like we buckled down in the beginning of the third. The press kind of changed our pace. You know, and even though in that third period uh, we still gave up 19 points, we really haven't pressed a ton this year. So, you know, we kind of had to, to uh, iron out some of uh, some of the wrinkles. Uh, some good numbers tonight: 15 assists on 23 made baskets. Uh, before 16 point turnovers, they scored. We scored 20 points off of those 16 turnovers. But more importantly, tonight uh, we didn't shoot the three point three point all that well. But we were 22 of 27 from the free throw line. We came into this game shooting 57% from the free throw line. That's a good change. <laughs> yeah, that's been something we've been kind of focusing on and practice our free throw percentage. Um, I felt like today everybody went to the line confident. You know, for us it's always that it's always that snowball effect. I think you saw the snowball effect today in our in our defense. So one person got blown by, then another person gets blown by, then another person gets blown by. It worked on that free throw. One person hit a free throw, the next person hit a free throw, the next person hit a free throw. And that's the way we kind of operated all year. We kind of got to learn how to break those trades um, throughout the basketball game if we're going to be successful. Coach, it doesn't get any easier as we get uh, in conference play to start to get into the meat of it. Uh, we travel down to Greensboro to take on North Carolina a the next ball game. Uh, they're a little bit different than this uh, and than this Coppin State team. They have a lot more scoring, uh, especially in the inside. Talk a little about that matchup coming up on uh, Saturday. Well, a is a really good basketball program. I know when I took over this program, uh, that was one of the programs that uh, we kind of set in our sights. So, you know, a and Hampton, is, is Patron, you know, it's a, a bunch of other ones that I didn't uh, name you. Don't say I disrespect you, but a and was one of those programs we were looking at. So, we're definitely not going to look past them. We know this is going to be a huge basketball game for us playing on the road. It'll be my first time ever um, there as a head coach, so I'm excited about that. Uh, they have three dynamic um, guards who all score double digits and so, right like you said um, their fours down low are tough they're tough they're going to hit the grass hard they're, they're one of the best offensive rebounding teams in our league and we're going to have to put our hard hats on on Saturday Coach uh, congratulations uh, shorthanded with a 71-57 win over Coppin State to improve to 8-5 overall 1-0 in conference play congratulations uh, starting off the conference season well with the victory right, thank you Hey, well, that's Coach Larry Vickers. We'll come back after this break to wrap up the women's game tonight. The Spartans win 71-57. You're listening to NSU Basketball on the NSU Sports Network. Thanks, Spartans.